Yeah, storms were already here. In fact, they've actually sped up from the timing that we were looking at about two to three hours ago. So let's get right to it and show you what we've got out there. A couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. Those are right out near College Station and over towards parts of Walker County. Let me jump a little tighter on those so that we get a better sense of exactly what we're seeing with those storms. And so not only do we have the potential to see a little bit of wind shear, basically we're seeing a little bit of rotation within the cloud. There's no tornado warning on that yet, but do notice that it has a severe thunderstorm warning until 1215 a little further. That's for Trinity County and then parts of Walker County until 1230 and the entire area is under severe thunderstorm watch and that goes all the way down to the coast until six o'clock later on this afternoon. So let's jump in on a few of these storms here in particular what we're seeing with these. Uh, there could be a potential that we're looking at two and a half size hail. That's basically about half dollar size hail up to almost golf ball size hail within the core of this storm and that's right outside of Huntsville there in particular. So let me get real tight in on that just so you get a better sense. I'm going to turn these gets off real fast just so we get an idea of what we're seeing. So again, some level of rotation within these storms is certainly something that we're keeping a very close watch on that. But you get the idea from Trinity down to Huntsville sliding its way southward from College Station over to Navasota. This is sort of the end of the first line that's now heading its way from there all the way towards Conroe into Livingston. If we kind of uh, slide this out a little fast and moving. That should put it anywhere between New Waverly at about 1223 up towards Evergreen at about 1227. So let's turn the lightning on. That's the other big part to this too, is that we've got a lot of these storms that have an enormous amount of lightning with them as they're moving their way through. So let me back this out and get you a better sense of what we're expecting over the next couple of hours as it moves on through. So I'm going to put this in a one hour loop and I just want to show you how fast these storms are moving in. Not only that, but if you go back over towards the east of us here, we have another cluster just north of Beaumont that's sliding in towards portions of western Louisiana, but it's really this line right here that will be approaching towards Conroe, the Woodlands, probably in towards Lake Livingston within the next, I'd say probably 15 to 20 minutes to maybe 30 minutes. The whole line itself is moving at about 30 to 35 miles an hour, and some of the wind gusts out on the leading edge of this are getting close to about 60 miles an hour. So that's why the severe thunderstorm watch is there. That's why the warnings are in place as well, and then we'll have to see what starts to erupt over the next one to two hours as it gets closer to us. So let me show you what we've got in terms of our future cast. I'm going to give you a quick warning with this. Our future cast have been kind of struggling to initialize where those storms are, but I think they have the intensity and the timing is about an hour behind. So I'm going to start us at about two o'clock. That should put everything down across the I-59 corridor over towards parts of Liberty County and then eventually three, four o'clock. That's down to the coast. So this may be a very fast moving system through the afternoon over the next two to three hours. Would not be shocked to see a chance for some certainly hail. We could also see a potential for some strong damaging winds. You saw plenty of lightning with that. However, if this can work over the area pretty well, by the time we get to tomorrow morning, those storms we were looking at that maybe were approaching from the west may have stabilized things so that they come in as basically just light rain to moderate rainfall. That said, the severe weather risk for today has been reconfigured from the Storm Prediction Center, and you see the bullseye right over top of us, and it's basically where those storms are moving through now, and the reason why they have that on there is because of the lightning, the wind, of course, and the hail threat. Those are the big three that were on there as well. Of course, if you happen to get those big thunderstorms going over poorly drained areas, uh, you know, feeder roads, that neighborhood in your area that always doesn't drain well and you get a quick maybe one to two inches as that starts to move on through that could run into some problems as well.